Yo, what is up you guys, and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. And well, I'm finally back guys, I'm finally back for, you know, being extremely busy at work to, you know, finally getting around to do something like this. I am going to look for future battles with new people here, and uh, if you want to be a part of, um, of my uploads in the future, make sure to hit me up on Twitter or um, on this... Uh, on this YouTube page, to be honest. Um, I have not been around to, you know, making any new battles. So I'm going to upload a few old ones that I wanted to upload, but just simply haven't get around to. And this was actually one of the first battles I did with my mixed tier team. So it's semi-old, yeah. But it's it's an incredible good match. And it's one of those matches that I'm really proud of to um, been able to have with uh, my good friend here, CB Hulk, I don't know as Chris. Uh, but his username is Carl because that is his little brother's DS, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, that's a life story. Um, this is definitely a Yu Yu game, and he wanted to um, rebattle me from the Yu Yu week that I had uh, a few months back. Uh, he just wanted to challenge me again and, you know, give him an honest chance this time since I got a little better. Uh, he's bringing Houndoom, Crobat, Flaudius, Rose Rage, Slowbro, and Agron. And Agron is definitely the biggest threat to my team. Because Agron, if it is the Mega Form, can easily wall out a lot of my pokes. So I'm, I was definitely scared of that. Uh, I myself use Rodum, um, Fulf, Vulcan, Bugra, Mantine, and Cabotops. Uh So it is semi the old Sand team, but it's not quite still. But it's something I was working on at the time, and uh, it worked well. It's, it really did. I really felt that I got to showcase my team. Plus, I really felt that uh, Hulk got a good game off it. So, other than that, guys, let's actually enjoy this. Let's go. So, at the start here, I was pretty sure that the Rotom Heat was the best lead. Consider it ball out anything. Uh, I think it's all right through that. And actually, I'm gonna start with Agron, trying to bait me to go for an overheat. I did expect that that could be a situation, so I decided to just go for Volt Switch, getting the ship damage. And luckily for me, he did switch out to his Houndoom, and I am able to do damage instead of activating his Flash Fire, which probably would kill me. Uh, so I can bring in Flash here, and I should definitely have gone for the Sword Stance, but at the time here, I really thought an Aqua Jet could kill it. It could not. It managed to live, and that is incredible. I mean, how is that even possible? So of course, Dorfels would take me down to a fair amount of damage here, and I was still thinking that he might at least try to sack his... Uh, I sound him. Of course it doesn't. Switching to <laughs> that goddamn slow bro. And I have no reason to preserve my Cabotops because without the setup it's basically just uh, fodder. And I don't want to really use that that. So I'm bringing Fulf here and you guys are going to see something unique. You're going to see Fulf being walled out by an Agron. I mean retaliate with all that stab life orb. It does maybe 16% something like that. But, he did not expect me to have superpowers, so whatever. Uh, finish that, off, that guy off nicely there, and uh, yeah. Glad Agron is out of the way, because Agron is definitely like a huge, huge, huge threat for this team. And uh, it would be no reason for me to set up a Sandstorm if um, he had that Agron intact. So of course the Crobat coming in and try to switch out, he got the Pursuit, which is... A nice, nice switch there from inside. So I'm just going to bring Bugra here and actually pull a double switch because I do expect him to be able to switch out to his Rose Rage. So I'm going to do just that and switch out myself and go into my Ghost Ball, which is Scarfed. And um, I really thought I was going to outspeed here, but no, he will have a Scarf too. So Sludge Bomb will do more damage than I actually did expect there. So of course, now I know it's locked to. Um, the sludge pump, so I just can bring in the Vulcan here very safely and uh, just finish it off because with the Sand Force plus you know the incredible stab and strength of Gigalith, our uh, Rock Slide will easily finish this guy off. I love you, Gigalith. Such a such an awesome, unappreciated poke. So anyway, even though the sands is still up, I knew I can take a scald, but I don't want to risk the burn, and I know he's gonna go for a scald, so I just going to absorb that. And I'm going to go for a Toxic here, setting up timer off on the Slow King, because in worst case scenario, the Slow King could be uh, the Calm Mindset. And if it is the Calm Mindset, then you need to have the Toxic going, even though we got gorgeous for Aromatherapy. Because I knew that I had another timer on the Slow Bro, he will easily be able to set up and kill my whole team, considering the huge bulk of that poke, to be honest. 
So I'm just gonna go for Skull here and hope for Burn actually on the Claudius. Of course that didn't happen. And uh, I'm going to be able to switch out to my Booger yet again, set up the Sandstorm. I just really want to friend it out with the Earthquake because Earthquake will do immensely amount of damage on the Claudius. And he will go for a Coal Mine here, so it's definitely fearing that he might actually go for an Energy Ball and that would be terrifying if that was to happen because I don't think I can live two of those. And um, yeah, luckily for me, he goes for Aroma Therapy here, and uh, I'll be able to blow up an earthquake. And uh, earthquake does roughly 50% here, and uh, that is just awesome because that means that I can actually, you know, go for just to finish it off. Even with the leftovers, I should be able to take it out from this range. And uh, I do expect him might want to go for protect, but no, it went for wish. Probably a second it, you know, getting a safe switch in, and uh, it lived. <laughs> and I don't think uh, my opponent, Sibu Holker, really wanted that to happen. And he actually decided to switch out this Crobat, probably expecting me to might want to go for a rock slide just to be safe. And uh, well, so the wish was kind of wasted, I get that. And uh, I still can't do anything against this Crobat, so I'm just gonna switch out to Vulcan, absorbing the Brave, but it's coming my way. And uh, I think it do, do that rather nicely, actually. So, of course, he's going to feel very threatening here. And uh, I will actually pull a double switch here because I did expect him to bring in his low bro. I myself can really utilize this position, so I'm just going to go to my Rotom Heat and just get a Volt Switch off and safely get into uh, my Booger yet again, set up the Sandstorm. He will decide to uh, sack off his Claudius. And like you saw in his previous uh, turns there, he did actually try to sack it up before. So he definitely didn't have any future need of that. So I get that, I really do. So you're just gonna bring Booger here because why not? I mean, set up the sandstorm, come on, go nuts. And he's gonna go for his last stand with his Houndoom. And you guys gonna see something that is probably a little trick to you guys. And that is going to see if Vulcan yet again absorb special defensive damage like they were nothing. And of course, the sandstorm will finish this guy off. But look at that. Gigalith, you're awesome. So he's gonna bring the Slowbro here, and I know that Rotom he can take care of both Slowbro and uh, and there's Crobat, but said I missed the Rock Slide, I definitely didn't expect that, because I knew that I still needed some damage off on Slowbro before bringing the Rotom Heat, so I'm just gonna bring Folk there, actually hoping that Folk will be able to uh, take, it out, take it out with the Retaliate. It is not able to do that, and he's gonna go for slack off, which is going to be very very unfortunate on my side. And uh, I'll just gonna go for a last effort here, and just gonna go for a game impact before he finishes me off with a game, uh, with a skull, of course. So no, I am not able to finish it off, and the skull will definitely finish me. Had he gone for a slack off, then attacked, he will be in a much much better position. But then again, I think my Rota would have been able to take it out from this range. And uh, well, let's just say this that um, <laughs> it was definitely a close game and the Brave Bird will not be able to take me out which is very very fortunate for my side of course uh, had it be Choice Bannon instead he would definitely not have killed me anyway because like I said before my Rotom Heat is scoffed so I wouldn't have been able to outspeed so uh, yeah that was a very very close game to be honest and uh, GG Hulk really had a don't pulled off those two double switches during that game, I probably would have lost because you definitely have the stronger core play and the stronger team and I really felt that you were pressuring me to be honest. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching for this game and also don't forget to leave a like if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, other than that, um, yeah, I do hope for uh, some future uploads with uh, a different team here and uh, this game was a very very tough one for me, I, I won't lie. CB Hulk is one of the toughest battlers that I know and uh, it comes to show really that he's a very very smart battler and I really felt that had I not pulled those double switches I, I might as well have lost. I'm fairly sure of that and uh, kudos to Hulk really. Like, like I said he's a very competent battler and I do enjoy battling him because of that. So on that guys you know, thank you as always for watching and you know have a good day. Alright guys take care. Bye.